Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely, lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, it looks like Ezra Miller is finally going to be done as The Flash. Deadline, they have had a couple of sources, again remember sources can't be confirmed at this moment in time, but sources have come forward with quite a bit of information regarding Ezra Miller and their current situation with being on the run, being on the run with a... Uh, at this moment in time, a child, because I've been told as well that uh, I and I, you know, she is, or they are 18, in her uh, area, they are classed as that until they reach 21. I don't know if that is true, I was told that during the live stream the other day, if it's not, I do apologise, but let's jump on into the story. So this is, like I said, from Deadline, Zaslav's first movie, Crisis, what to do with Ezra Miller, the erratic star of Warner Brothers' $200 million Flash franchise launch. So... They go on to say that uh, even though The Flash is not out until next year, which is true, June, it's becoming Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav's first movie crisis because of the escalating coverage of incidents of volatile and odd behaviour involving Ezra Miller. Zaslav has made clear his desire to grow the DC Universe to MCU scale and has all the ingredients of the first foot forward in The Flash, including the return of Michael Keaton as Batman and Ben Affleck as also as Batman as well. It's a $200 million budget and the hot director and Andy, I'm not going to say his surname, but the guy who did It Chapter 1 and 2, and I love those films, and, you know, who delivered the blockbuster It for Warner Brothers, you know? The Warner Brothers Discovery CEO exercised his well-known penchant for micromanagement by declining to greenlight the Wonder Twins for being too niche. Yeah, it was like a $75 million uh, budget. They hired people and everything and just went, yeah, get rid of it. Okay, you know. Zaslav will have to soon make a decision of what to do with the completed picture that is The Flash, and what to do with the young actor who appears to have serious offset issues. Now, this is where it goes in to say that Deadline from a stu has heard that from the studio, they tried getting help for Miller, but the troubling headlines continue to pile up. Could you send a potential liability on a global publicity tour and have the actor anchor a huge studio franchise play? So, if this is true and Warner Brothers have tried getting help for Ezra and Ezra still keeps getting into trouble, they have to get rid of him. They 100% have, have to get rid of Ezra because they cannot have someone who is that, that explosive going around because, what was it? He was arrested twice in Hawaii in the space of two weeks, three weeks. He also got had a restraining order against him from two people who live in Hawaii because he, they said that uh, Ezra came in and said a whole lot of nasty stuff to them. And obviously at this moment in time, the biggest one is, is that he's uh, being done for... Uh, I don't want to say the word, but the G word, G you know, G R O O M I N G. You know, and uh, with that, it started when the when the child was 12 years of age. It's absolutely crazy. But it does go into say by here as well that Zaslav has several choices and he has to make one of them soon. Among them, he can pull back on heavily promoting the summer film, confining it to some P&A and no publicity tour. You've got to have a publicity tour because it's, it's a huge, huge movie. Or he can relegate it to streaming with HBO Max and take a write down. They're not going to do that because they are literally going to lose so, so much money. It's a $200 million movie. It has to make $600 million to break even. You put that on HBO Max, it's not going to do anything. But this one here now, or leaning toward making the movie a hit, then drop Miller if they can't straighten things out. To be honest with you, they have to get rid of Miller, no matter what. Warner Brothers did that when it dropped Johnny Depp from the Grindelwald character in Fantastic Beasts franchise after the actor's well-publicized, unsuccessful UK lawsuit. Studio replaced Johnny with Mads Mikkelsen. There is no winning in this for Warner Brothers, one studio source has told him. This is an inherited problem for Zaslav. The hope is that the scandal will remain at a low level before the movie is released, and hope for the best to turn out. In Zaslav's plan to make DC an explosively successful division like Marvel, under his newly structured studio, with his own new boss, the non-binary identifying Miller, we hear, is simply 
not a part of those plans going forward in the future universe, regardless if there are any more allegations or not. So, with that there, at this moment in time, coming from this studio source or the studio insider, they're saying, yeah, he's not a part of the plan at the moment. You know, it's... If uh, Ezra gets help and they settle down and everything kind of returns to normal for them, I suppose is the best way to describe it, they may keep him. They may keep uh, Ezra as the Flash. I've said it before, I do like Ezra as the Flash. Ezra is funny as anything in that role. They have the perfect, the perfect childlike wonder. Because if you watch Justice League from there, he's like, he's like, you're Batman. You know, can I keep this? You know, and, and, and it's just all the jokes he was saying to everyone. It was just so good. And again, I know jokes are jokes, but it does come off uh, when someone's telling them. It all depends. I could say a joke and Eddie Murphy could say the same joke, but Eddie Murphy will be a thousand times funnier. Actually, a million times funnier because Eddie Murphy is the goat. But yeah, so, but there is, you know, it does go on this Deadline article regarding that even though uh, there's kind of currently a protection order out against Ezra from Ionize, uh, their family and uh, where they're from. But in the next video today, there is actually another protection order which has been granted for another 12-year-old against Miller. But that's what we got by there, folks. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates and I'll see each and every one of you soon.